What is broadband? Broadband refers to high-speed internet access that provides fast and reliable connectivity. It offers a wide bandwidth, which is the capacity to transmit large amounts of data quickly. If you want to know more about bandwidth, then check out our video. The link is in the description. The two defining characteristics of broadband are that it's high speed and it's available at all times. To get an idea of the different types of broadband connections, we should firstly look at the history of communication and broadband. 1876 marked the beginning of long distance communication using telephone lines that relied on analog technology and manual switchboards to connect calls. As the concept of computer networking emerged, the early forms of internet connectivity were established using dial-up connections. These utilized the existing telephone infrastructure in established networks but had limited bandwidth which was really slow. If you wanted to go to Google, you would type in the browser and then go to make some coffee while you wait for the home page to load. A small mp3 file could easily take 15 minutes to download. Older generations will recognize this sound. whenever they started using dial-up to connect to the internet. Because it used your telephone line, no one could call your landline if you were on the internet. But this was always too slow. So communication companies developed digital subscriber lines which transformed existing copper telephone lines into high-speed data transmission channels. DSL allowed both voice and data communication at the same time, significantly improving internet speeds and paving the way for the age of broadband. In some countries, cable television providers recognized the potential to offer internet services over their existing coaxial cable networks. It offered faster speeds compared to dial-up and became a popular choice for residential users. But fiber optic technology revolutionized data transmission by using thin strands of glass or plastic to transmit data as pulses of light. It offers incredibly high bandwidth and faster speeds over longer distances compared to traditional copper-based technologies. Fiber optic networks form the backbone of modern broadband infrastructure and enable the delivery of gigabit speeds. In between all this development, the advancement of wireless technologies such as Wi-Fi and cellular networks brought about wireless broadband access. Wi-Fi allows devices to connect to local networks without physical cables, while cellular networks provide mobile broadband using 3G, 4G and 5G technologies. There are exciting new developments being made using satellites to transmit data wirelessly, especially to remote areas. The current Starlink project, developed by Elon Musk's SpaceX, is working to provide high-speed satellite internet access to users across the world. Over time, broadband technology has continued to evolve with improvements in speed, reliability and capacity. Broadband connections have become more accessible and affordable, aligned for widespread adoption by both businesses and individuals. New technologies will continue to be developed that will provide even better bandwidth and speeds in the future. Let's now talk about the speed and the performance. Broadband connections offer higher download and upload speeds compared to dial-up or older technologies. An ADSL or asymmetric digital subscriber line connection means that the download and upload speeds are not the same normally because we tend to download more content than we upload. Think about how often you view other people's posts on Instagram compared to how many times you post. Hopefully you view more posts than you are posting, otherwise you need to find more friends. With multimedia exploding in popularity, and not only do we want the best quality video or audio, but ultra high definition, there is a major need for fast internet speeds of broadband. These higher speeds have enabled faster web browsing, video streaming, online gaming, file downloading and uploading, and video conferencing. Broadband has helped people become more productive as they can both access resources and work on online tools at a faster pace. The availability of entertainment and media has grown as broadband supports high quality streaming of videos, music and online gaming, providing an immersed entertainment experience. Online learning, research and access to educational resources and digital libraries has also greatly benefited users because of access to broadband technology. When considering broadband, there are three main factors. Which internet service provider to use? As these are the companies that offer broadband services to residential and business customers. Check out our other video on ISPs with the link in the video description for more information. The other thing to consider is which broadband option will you be using, referring to the ones mentioned before, but also what equipment you'll need to access the broadband. And then there is the geographical location, basically checking if the broadband option you want is available in your geographical location. Cities and major centers tend to have more comprehensive coverage compared to rural areas, but there are still options as companies try to expand their reach as far as possible. Hopefully your broadband connection is serving you well, keeping you connected to the fast pace of data flow on the big broadband internet.
Thank you to Moongul for recommending we do this video. Please click on that subscribe button to support the channel and remember to leave a like or comment and follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.